When drawing shapes, you can actually display their side lengths and interior angles. So let's draw a rectangle, and you'll see that the side lengths appear just for a second, but when I let go, they disappear. Well, when you let go, you'll notice that the adorning menu appears on the right, and in the fifth row of icons, on the very bottom, you'll see an angle icon. It's next to the hexagon. If you click on this icon, it will actually show the side lengths and interior angles. Remember, if you don't see the adorning menu, grab the select tool and click on your shape to get the adorning menu to appear. So we'll click on the angle tool and you'll see here all the side lengths and interior angles are displayed. Now, if we want to modify these or adjust them, because you can see here that I have my measurements in metric, we can switch these to imperial by going to the settings cogwheel in the top right corner of whiteboard. So look up there on the right, it's next to the question mark and the minus button, click on that. And then in the middle of the window, you're going to see units where it says metric and imperial. So just choose and then close the window and you'll see here that the lengths change. Now, if you want to manually change the lengths, all you have to do is uh, right click on any side length or interior angle to retype it. And to do that, you're going to want to choose the select tool. We don't want to have the shape tool active. We want the select tool. So remember the select tool is in the main toolbar, it's the green arrow. And we're just gonna do a right click up here on our top side length. And then we'll click on it and then our keyboard will appear and we'll be able to re-edit this so that we can type in whatever we would like. Now you'll notice that when I start typing here in a second, that it'll turn red the red color just lets me know that I've manually made this adjustment myself. When you're done, just close your keyboard, touch anywhere on the canvas, and it will save it. Let's also modify the side length over here. Same process, we'll do a right click, click on it, and then we can retype it to whatever we would like to. Now, if you want to hide any of the other side lengths, all you have to do is uh, touch them or click on them. Remember, make sure you have the select tool activated. So we'll hide these just by clicking on them and you can show them again by clicking on the same spot. And there we go, there's our rectangle with the side lengths. Now, sometimes you might want to draw an irregular shape so at the very bottom of the shape menu, you'll see next to the paint bucket is the free draw tool. Make sure you choose your color and then select the free draw tool at the bottom again next to the paint bucket. And what this is going to allow us to do is freehand draw whatever shape we would like to. So watch here, I'm gonna draw just a couple rectangles connected. And when you let go, the lines will straighten out. And just like before, it'll show the side lengths and the interior angles. Now, if you wanna adjust this, cause it's a little off, all you have to do is drag the blue dots on the corners to resize. So you can see here, I'm just gonna drag these around to try to get this shape to have those interior angles at 90 degrees. It's important you do this first because if you uh, touch or click on the canvas, you won't be able to do this again. So as soon as you're done freehand drawing, make sure you make all the adjustments you want because once you're done and you click on the canvas, that object is placed. So here I got everything the way that I want it. And so again, to place it on the canvas, I'm just gonna touch anywhere on the canvas and those blue dots will disappear. And now my shape is placed. So let's go turn on the sides and angles again by choosing my select tool, clicking on the object, and then choosing the angle icon on the very bottom row. And just like before, we can go in and right click on any of the side lengths and we will retype them. So let's change the top here first. Just as a reminder, when you retype a side length, it is going to change 
to red, showing that you made the adjustment yourself. Also, as a reminder, you can touch any angle measurement or side length, and that will make it disappear. To reveal that, again, just touch where it was, and it will pop back up. And then finally, we'll finish off here by adjusting this final side length. And there you have it. That's how you can show and hide side lengths, angle measurements, as well as manipulate them yourselves. Just choose the angle tool in the fifth row of the adorning menu.